Hola and Shalom. And if you're watching this on a Saturday, Shabbat Shalom. I'm Rebellia and we are back with some more crash landing. Um, got a lot of stuff done. <laughs> uh, last episode we left off, we did not have the squid plant seeds. We couldn't figure out a way to make them other than getting black wool and um, all this stuff. So I went through the cities and I tried to find them. I tried to find squid plant seeds. I tried to find black wool. The only black wool I found was rock wool, of which you cannot grind down to make uh, ink. But the pulverizer just won't take it. Um, which I think I showed you guys that in the last episode. Um, so, I wanted to make a squid farm. Um, I uh, got to look in at some other YouTubers on Crash Landing. And... There was a rumor going around that you could only get squid to spawn at levels 65 and below. Well, we're at level 74, which is probably why we weren't getting any squids before. So, I set this up. I found some of these elevators in the town. And go down four levels, and we have squid and ink sacs for days. So, um... Yeah, I got a vacuum hopper set up here to try to pull it into the chest. As you can see, we got way more than we'll ever need. Oh, they even dropped the seeds themselves. Oh, that's cool. But those will despawn eventually. But all it is is the top layer here uh, of water is solid blocks. Um, the rest of it, however, just flows down. And then I've got glass and such where we can see all the way down here. And then the signs stop the water and the squid fall through and then they suffocate, die, drop their ink sacs and possible seeds. And then the vacuum hopper picks them up and tries to put them in the chest. So, um, that's what's going on there. Don't eat those. Uh, <laughs> so I went ahead and I made the squid plant seeds. Uh, I got nine of them right here. And I got plastic. I got lots of plastic. I also made sure to get a bunch of compressed iron out. So I've got two and a half stacks there. I've got another stack I'm waiting to compress right now. i got to wait for it to come up to pressure apparently. Um, so this is my squid plant farm area. These are the fire flower seeds. You can only plant them on nether rack. I can't stress that enough. If you throw them on the ground, they will actually burn, and uh, you won't get your seeds back. You won't get anything back. Now, uh, last episode, or the one before, anyway, we made the harvester and the planter, and got them set up. Uh, I had the generator running uh, for, as you can see, I had it running for this as well as the planter. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch, because I'm guessing it's a glitch, the sludge that these things put off, normally if they fill up, they stop. But for some reason on mine, it just kept going and going and going. To the point that, as you can see, we got plenty of leaves. And then over here, I moved the pulverizer to start making gravel and sand. And here's the barrel I made for the wood that was coming out of the harvester. Way too much. <laughs> So I've currently got this going to make a bunch of charcoal to work with these generators to keep the pulverizer going Excuse me, until I can get a better source of power set up. Um, now I've already looked up the uh, um, reactor stuff. In this mod they require steel. Uh, I don't know how to make steel yet, so if anybody's got any ideas, leave them down in the comments. Um, grow a few more trees, but that's about the gist of what all we've done. I've been crafting a few things. I did craft the laser assembly, because I tried to record an episode before this, and then I figured out I didn't have enough supplies to make a decent episode, so I just kind of, eh, I'll just restart. <laughs> So, uh, in this dolly I made, simply move that, that barrel that has all the wood in it. So, let me repair my tools real quick. And there's that, and that. There we go. Now, I don't 
feel so bad looking at them. <laughs> All right, let's put that in there. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, we need the hopper and the levers. If I remember correctly. Okay, so now we need the quest book. Get, uh, under pressure. We needed all of these things. So we had the chest. I just made the laser assembly, and which I'll show you the recipe. Assembly I.O. unit is the next one in line. Uh, so if we look up assembly. Okay, here's the laser unit. It has the printed circuit boards, the pneumatic cylinders, and just these things, and this, and that's that, and just, yeah. On and on and on and on and on. Um, now I did make a bunch of these transistors, as you can see here, uh, because we are going to need a bunch of these printed circuit boards. So, uh, uh, I oh, here we go. That's why I needed the hopper. Okay, so we got to make a bunch more of these, which is really cruddy because I didn't want to have to make more of these. But I oh will grab that. Beans. I'm gonna need at the moment. All right, because we need to make a couple more of these. Two and three. All right, and then oh, I need my gold. No, I didn't bring gold. Some gold here, but it's not gonna be enough. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough. So that's only four of these, and we need three of them just for one unit. So let me go over here, go up there, go up there. I was pouring out ores earlier, so I'm surprised I didn't have any. All right, so, um, but yeah, that's while we're waiting on the gold to pour out. I do have gravel and sand both going in this. Thanks to this pulverizer of awesomeness. Um, I can't seem to keep the power going. I mean, this has, you know, over three more hours to go. But, see, it seems to be holding steady once it got to there. It doesn't seem to budge. Okay. Just here, get another one going. And check out from here. Nope, no gold in here either. That was worth a shot. I did manage to snag a few ender pearls and one diamond. Um, and see, we've got three stacks of ink sacks just right there. Um, oh, let me get another block of gold going, and then I do have something else to show you guys. Uh, okay. Over here, um, that high golem, that ache that we got, I did uh, lay it down. And this is what popped out of it. I have no idea what he's for. I can't, like, I'm, I'm right clicking and shift right clicking and it's just not doing anything. I don't want to hit him and for fear that he might kill me or something. And I did throw some eggs and I got some chickens. I don't think I have any seeds to breed you guys, darn it. But yeah, so we have four chickens now. I managed to uh, breed them twice, but, uh, at least one of the chickens, I'm guess, I think it's that one. Well, maybe they finally settled down, but when I first hatched them, even after they became adults, they would not quit running around in this pen. And I thought one was stuck in the corner, I undid the corner, and it ran all over the base. I had to make a net to catch the thing. It was annoying. Um, expanded the garden, so it's looking really, really good. Uh, okay. Couple peanuts, good. I've been like surviving on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, which is funny because I don't like those in real life. But in this, they've got some pretty good attributes. There. Uh, did you see? Just go ahead and put these because I'm out of room in the chest. Otherwise, I would have just thrown them in the chest. And there's that. Okay. So let's run over here and get our gold. Should have enough now. Three blocks. Go ahead and get another one pouring just in case. And turn those into ingots. All right. 
eight of those. Oh. Did I bring any cobble? Yes, I did. Awesome. I brought sticks. Cool. Because we need more levers. Yay. Oh, that was a perfect amount. Well, you know. And then these. So bring those up. Okay. These things. This. Whoa! It worked. Uh, okay, I wonder, wonder when it started working. Hmm. Normally, if I, like, shift-click it on that button, it doesn't put it in. Interesting. So is that, okay, let me, plastic. Is that all I need? Nope. Yeah. Oh, it's working now. Yay. Uh. Compressed iron, of course. Ooh. Cool. I like this. Go ahead and make another one of those. And then we have three. <laughs> okay. Now let's check the book. Uh, manual detect. Why are you not working? Assembly IO unit. Okay, well, assembly controller and platform thing. Okay. Assembly controller, holy crap. Oh, wow. We actually had everything we needed. And then one of these. Darn it. Orange plant. Propulsion. Oh, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. No panicking. I've actually got die. Right here. Okay. These because it's gonna be two die. Okay. Do, 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 do. My die. Oh, gotta make the die first, dingy. Okay. All right. If I remember right, these things like to run. I'm not kidding. Uh. You know what? Let me set up a place to plant these, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. Got our little spot all fixed up here, and this is the glowstone glass. So it'll be nice and lit up. So now it doesn't matter where these little guys go, they cannot escape. It doesn't matter if they go up, down, or up, down. Yeah. So let's see. Yep. See? They would have gone flying. Okay, let me see. Do I have any bone meal on me? Of course, that's the one thing I would forget to do. If I can get through the door. Alright. Come over here, grab us a stack of bone meal. Should be all we need. And it looks like my yep, stack of iron finally finished. So. See, this is a little trick. You just. Until they're round like that, you don't want to go like that. But just do that and then hit it, and then it'll double your seats. And if you're standing far enough away, then they'll replant themselves before you even have to worry about it. Okay. And, right. Now, I did make this an extra, like, one, two, three, four blocks tall because at some point we're going to get what they call flying flower seeds and another one, I don't remember what the other one is but one of them has to grow on nether rack upside down and then the other one has to grow on dirt upside down and then on top of that the flying flower seeds like to fly up so I made sure that we'd be able to jump up and grab them if necessary okay let me do my filter real quick. Delete this and go plastic. There we go. Throw these in there real quick and hopefully this thing will actually 
finish up in a decent time. Oh yeah, those things went through fast. Nice. Okay, pull them up for me. Come. There we go. One. There's the other 19. We're going to grab our compressed iron at the same time. Now, this thing, we have it. Okay, now that should... Where is this? Oh, I need to have two of them. Okay. E. Oh, dear. Okay, um... Oh, I get it. You gotta have everything in your inventory before it'll auto-craft it. That's cool. Alright, now we need these. These things. Uh, wait, do I have any of those? No, I do not. Wow. Oh, oh wait, we've already cut some of these. Oh, I don't have enough plastic. That could be a problem. Oh, that's the rain plant seeds. Okay, I've got some of those over here. I'm going to have to pull all these closer so that I'm not running all over the place trying to catch them all. Okay, let's just do this, do that, and we will just replant here. Ah, there we go. Nineteen, that'll be pretty good. Still that in there. Okay, so the sapling. Oh, that's a walnut. That's one we don't have. And I got one, two spots left. Um, okay, there we go. Excuse me. So, I'm already done. Sweet. Awesome. Moving right along now. Okay. okay. Now we can do that. And then we should be able to do that. Okay. There we go. We assembly program laser. Compressed iron and redstone. I have no clue what to do with any of this stuff. Alright. Magic wrench. I can't remember what we needed for that. Uh, let me do it this way, it's easier to find it. Okay, I think we got that, and ooh, we might have everything. Yeah! Everything but the lever. Okay. Just go ahead and make a bunch of them, because they seem to be used a lot in these recipes. Uh -huh. What? Oh, because I didn't have the, the gray plastic on. That's why. What? Okay. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, that was weird. Alright. And now what? GPS tool? Okay, I hear this thing's very, very glitchy. And so you don't want to use it. Um, of course, I could be wrong. Alright, so we need a redstone torch. Won't be too difficult. And let me dump this stuff in here. since it's already counted and everything. Uh, and wait. Okay, good. It's only one diamond, and I do have some glass panes. 
over here, I think. And, yes, I do. Okay, should I need the one? I've only got one diamond. So they better not require two of these things. Alright, let's run back over here. And what? Oh. Air cannon. Oh my goodness. Okay. Air cannon. This thing. What the? Okay, we've already got that. Okay, I just need some stone for that. And I've already got that. Okay, well, I've already got cobble slabs over here. I believe I've already got some stone made as well. The cobble slabs have exactly enough. Yes, I do have a regular stone on me. Cool. So let's run back over here. Need to eat. <laughs> oh, crap, I'm out of food. I'll oh, oh, craft this real quick. Okay. Don't need that many. And there's that. Please tell me that's the end of it. Cool. Okay, we can't claim it right now because my inventory is way too full. Let me grab something to eat and then we'll be able to claim our reward. Um, grab some PBMJ. And there we go. Alright. So now we can run back over here and put this stuff in the chest to kind of free up some space. I think that's what I mean. Then I can take the torch and fuck it up here. Alright. Hey, reward. Alright, we finally got one done. Alright, what is this thing? Under pressure. You may have noticed that some pneumatic craft machines require more than the five bars of pressure that an air compressor provides. Well, this is the answer. Since this machine runs on MJ instead of RF, you must feed it power through at least one thermal expansion con conduit. Hooking it straight up to a dynamo or a tesseract will not work. Also, this generates air pressure constantly as long as it gets power. Some sort of automatic regulation would be a good idea. Yeah, well, I don't plan to keep continuing with this. Ooh, I like that. Alright, kinetic compressor. hardened glass, which is, which I need an induction smelter to do, of course, machine frame, so we need at least two of these, so we might as well make three because we got to make the induction smelter, so, induction smelter, okay, just need a machine frame, I think we've got everything else. Uh, oh, that's open. <laughs> we got all the plastic. Go. Make three of those. Oh. All right, what am I missing? Oh, the electrum and bar. Okay. Electrum. Wrong thing. Okay. What? I always carry in bar with me. What's the matter with me? I think I've got some more ingots over here. Uh, yep, right there. Um, uh, yeah, let me put 
this way. There we go. Well, only I opened up one space, but that's enough. Because then I can do this. Haha! -ha. I win! Okay. Yeah, back to this. What? I've got the glass, I've got Inver, I've got that. Oh my gosh. And that. And that. See? Okay, we're just going to make two for now. Go. No, I don't have the copper. in the bucket. Okay. Fine, I'll make it myself. Okay, that goes there. And, oh, that's why. Okay, I didn't have that little redstone doohickey. Reception coil. Reception. Okay. I was like, uh, which one did I get? I have no clue. Alright. Come on. There's our induction smelter. There goes. Okay, so now we need pulverized obsidian and lead ingots. What? What? Let me, let me throw some stuff out of here. Do, 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 do. Okay. That should help. I don't want all of them. I just want one. And then I'll go in here again and get a generator that runs off of Okay, so we'll just set that here. This it there. Put that on there so it'll start powering this. And then we're going to get our obsidian. Um, I believe. Oh, hardened glass. Here. Yeah, you can put it in the pulverizer. Cool. This actually lasts. It's doing fairly decent. I mean, the power is not the greatest, but it's working. Good, there's four already. Alright, now we needed lead. I don't think I had any on me, did I? No, I didn't. Some lead ingots right here. And this needs that and that. Right? Right? Why, why you no work? Smelter, lead ingot. Why? Oh, because I need eight of the obsidian. Darn it. Oh my. We got this. I believe some of this makes more than one. This make two? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, so what are we having to make that um compressor? There we go. Okay, 
Okay, we got enough of that. We got that. And this was... Nice. I think we got everything. Uh, what? What am I missing? Pressed iron. Go oh, over there. You go there. You there. You're there. And then the hardened glass is right there. Okay, what am I missing? That would be why. Uh, electron blend. How do you do that? Pulverized coal. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not liking this mod pack so much anymore. <laughs> so, well, we will have to address that on the next episode. Um, because I gotta go through and make that pyrothium dust stuff and the electrum blend flux and fuse, whatever the heck. So, um, anyway, I will do that in between episodes, and then when we come back, we will try to complete the rest of this, um, thing here. I'm also going to make, because I got three blaze rods, I'm going to go ahead and make the brewing stand so that we can make these um, speed machine upgrades because I think upgrade here we go yeah potion of swiftness which is just sugar and aqua potion Ooh. how do we get another word oh sifting soul sand that's not a problem so um, yeah we will work on completing this section next time on here and um so until next time guys go out and have fun and i'll see you in the next episode